Welcome back friends once again here is another problem of finding derivative by definition or you can say by the first principle method question is here 1 over 3x plus 4 whole to the power 1 by 2 right so what I have to do I have to suppose a function let, let, let's a function let y is equal with 1 over 3x plus 4 to the power 1 by 2 and I can write this like 1 over 3x plus 4 root over right root over 3x plus 4 because something to the power half means that is actually uh, inside the root all right so here let me suppose delta x and delta y are the small increment in x and y therefore now my function is going to turn now this this equation is going to be like y plus delta y equals to 1 divided by 3 and x will be now x plus delta x because there is a small increment in x as a delta x plus 4 okay so in next step I'll put here delta y and rest of this into the another side because I told you already that whenever we are going to find out the derivative by the first principle method or by definition we write delta y in one side and rest of this everything into the another side 1 over 3 x plus delta x plus 4 minus y and delta y equals to 1 divided by 3 x plus delta x plus 4 this is root over minus y in the place of y what I can write I can write 1 over 3x plus 4 1 over root over right 3x plus 4 so in next step delta y I can take the LCM of these two I can take LCM of this one and this one so it will be now 3 times x plus delta x plus 4 and this is this whole quantity is inside the root times this will be here 3x plus 4 as LCM and then sorry this is well almost it is right okay so now then when this whole quantity will divide this whole quantity I'll be left with this part so I'm writing here 3x plus 4 root over and then minus when this 3x plus 4 root over will divide this whole quantity I'll be left with this so I'll get 3 inside the bracket x plus delta x plus 4 okay so now what we can do here yes uh, I can write here delta y delta y and here see this is let me suppose this is root over something and again this is root over something so in this type of problem generally we used to rationalize it so again I'm going to rationalize it with uh, changing this uh, by changing the sign this is minus so I'll write here by plus 3x plus 4 and then plus 3 times x plus delta x plus 4 and whole divided by 3x plus 4 plus root over 3x 3x plus delta x plus 4 all right so what I'm going to get here this is a minus b a plus b so this will work as a 3x plus 4 inside the bracket it is whole square minus this whole quantity that is 3x plus delta x plus 4 here is the bracket this whole square and in the denominator this whole quantity that is 3 mm, I'm changing the color 3x plus delta x plus 4 times now this has been finished now this one 3x plus 4 now this whole and now delta y is going to equal with here see I'm going to expand this right so it will be 3x plus 4 actually see root square of something anything is if root over a it is then if you square it you'll get a right so that's why this will be 3x plus 4 and this will be now 3 times x plus delta x plus 4 inside the bracket I'm putting this all so now this will be again 3 times x. okay so now what I can do I can cancel out minus 3x plus 3x plus 3x and minus 3x uh, I think I, I miss multiplied here 3x this was here was the bracket so 3x and 3 delta x and this is plus here so this is just 4 it is just 4 because minus times plus will be minus all right so this minus 4 and plus 4 will cancel out and now I'm left with delta y equals to minus 3 delta x whole divided by this this quantity is 3 x plus delta x plus 4 inside the inside the root and again this this part 3x plus 4 
and this whole quantity that is 3x plus 4 plus 3 times x plus delta x plus 4 root over and the bracket okay so now next step let's do let's divide as we would as we're doing in the initial videos and previous videos varying both side by delta x and taking limit as a delta x tends to 0 and limit as delta x as delta x tends to 0 so I'll get limit delta x tends to 0 and it will be delta y over the delta x equals to again limit delta x tends to 0 and this will divide everybody right and whatever the I'm not taking the bracket whatever it is this this whole quantity I'm going to write here that is minus 3 times delta x and 3 x plus delta x plus 4 so here see what is going to be cancel out this delta x and delta x we cancel out and this limit delta y over the delta x we can write like dy by dx right and I'm going to plug the delta x here S delta x tends to 0 here means the approaching value of delta x then it will be here minus 3 and in denominator what we are going to get let's see here delta x tends to 0 see this will turn for 0 right and here this will turn to 0 so I'll get here 3x plus 4 root over times here also this is as it is 3x plus 4 root over and in the bracket it is root over 3x plus 4 and then plus here this will be 0 so it will be again root over 3x plus 4 what I can write here now that dy by dx is equal with minus 3 3x plus 4 times this 2 will be there 2 3x plus 4 root over and dy by dx finally if I want then I can write somehow like this minus 3 and uh, this will be like 3x plus 4 times 2 times 3x plus 4 half so I can write like minus 3 over 2 and 3x plus 4 to the power 3 by 2 like this you can write this is my answer so like this I need to find out the derivative we, we can easily find out the derivative how much bigger it is or how much smaller it is it doesn't matter just by this first principle method we can solve each and every problems just by uh, yeah, increasing a little bit delta x on x and delta y on y right and solve the process as we um, uh, you follow the process as we're doing since many videos I hope you can easily uh, do these types of problem and uh, now I'm going to uh, to do some videos I'm going to make some videos based on the power rules and after learning the power rules we'll learn some other rules also there are many many rules or you can say uh, ways to find out the derivative but this first principle method or definition method is uh, a little bit lengthy and but we should know this right because this will give you the real meaning what it is exactly actually you know this is uh, how the delta means uh, actually if I'll tell you here once again if this is my uh, this is my curve here somewhere right this is my curve here suppose the, this is the function f of x or you can say this is y so this will give you actually how the how the actually this curve is changing at a very like like here if you draw the tangent this will be your delta y and this will be your delta x so how the rate of change of delta y is with respect to delta x when delta x tends to zero how the graph is changing how what is the ratio of changing of y and x right what is the change in x y over the change in x change in y over the change in x when delta x tends to zero means for a for a very small point of time when this is this will be almost here at just a point and it will be like a line so it will be a tangent and the slope of the tangent it will be at that time so this is actually derivative here so this y can be anything this function can be anything you can find out the derivative by any 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 other ways that we will be learning later or by the first principle method so keep everything in mind and uh, in next videos we'll be learning more problems that will give you more concepts and more tricks to solve the problems all right if you like my videos please subscribe me we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye